I'm uh, Dave Pinnell, co-owner of West Coast Expeditions here in Cayuca, British Columbia. We met up with Dave Pinnell at Fair Harbor and jumped on his boat and he took us out to Spring Island. Soaking wet. <laughs> It is one of the most remote places I think I've been. Right when you think you couldn't be any more remote in Fair Harbor, you get on a boat and go even more out there. I didn't even know where we were going. <laughs> it was wild. West Coast Expeditions were all about connecting people with the, the local place, uh, with diverse West Coast experiences. So we do that out of our wilderness retreat base here on Spring Island. Yeah, it's a trek out to the edge of the world, the end of Canada, but it's so worth it, it's just an experience unlike any other. The outermost of a cluster of islands called the Mission Group, and the Mission Group of Islands is, is close to the village of Cayuca, which has a population of about 200 people, so it's a, a very remote community. Rolling up and seeing seeing their camp and their setup is, is pretty, pretty awesome what they have going on out there. It takes a special person to choose to come out here, it's remote, and once, they've, uh, once they're out here, they're usually a great fit with, with what we have to offer. The landforms have just been pounded by, you know, waves for thousands of years. The landscape's super rugged. Rugged is a great word for, for what it looked like out there. Just like these crazy, jagged chunks of rock just jutting out of the sea. And you're kayaking, you know, around this crazy, gnarly coastline. We jumped in the kayaks right away when we, when we got there and went out for a paddle and it's super windy, there's currents, there's kelp beds, and it just made for really tricky conditions to sort of, you know, manage these boats in. They're matching outfits. <laughs> They're little twinsy kayak. They're perfectly coiffed hair. <laughs> This seems like an appropriate spot to go for a dip. Lots of different kelps and I've got this wall and I have no idea what's underneath. Okay. It's pretty cool. There's like light poking through the, the kelp forest and, and uh, some little fish and you know, sea stars and all sorts of stuff living under there. The guys started calling Mark and Mason lily dippers for how they were battling. <laughs> well, I think they were too busy flipping their hair and making bad jokes to actually focus on their paddling because I kept leaving them in my sea dust. When we were all done, I said, well, Ben, who was the better paddler because, you know, I always need to hear that I'm better than Mason wherever I can because he's the golden child. So you probably did the best. Oh, thank you. Local friends and family from Cayuca uh, prepare salmon around the fire and often bring other good treats, uh, baked halibut or a seafood chowder, some bannock. We often have lots of uh, children and youth uh, right up to elders as part of the salmon dinner each week here in camp. The sea otter population is, uh, has been rebalancing uh, the local marine ecology. Well, I'm convinced that the sea otters considered me one of their own because no one else saw it, but I saw a sea otter wave at me. He really did. <laughs> this is my otter impression. <laughs> Literally three minutes away from where the tents are, you're in old growth Sitka spruce and western red cedar, 800 to 1,000 years old. So we've got a trail that's about a kilometer across the island, single track up and around and over and under that links to some expansive beaches on the outside of Spring Island, the exposed coast, where there's storm watching or serene sunsets. The people at West Coast Expeditions are incredible. It's good to meet up with guys like Dave and, and Ben, who really understand you know, the, the dynamics at play there and, and can guide you in the right direction to have a, a good time. So committed to making a great experience for you and showing you the best of what that area has to offer.